On Tuesday, January 14, 2014, U.S. District Judge Terrence Kern, a Bill Clinton appointee to the federal bench, ruled that Oklahoma's ban on same-sex marriage is unconstitutional. The latest in a string of recent court decisions that have challenged such state prohibitions. Ruling in favor of Mary Bishop and Sharon Baldwin and their co-complainants, Gay Phillips and Susan Barton, both of whom filed their cases in the Oklahoma courts back in November of 2004, Kern referred to two previous Supreme Court decisions in his ruling, the 1996 ruling of Romer v. Evans, the, in which the court struck down a Colorado constitutional amendment that forbade localities to pass laws protecting gays against discrimination, and the 2013 ruling of U.S. v. Windsor, where the court struck down a key element of the Defense of Marriage Act, Section 3, declaring it unconstitutional and saying that the federal government must recognize same-sex marriages that are legal in the states where they were performed. This decision rides on the coattails of the December decision in Utah, which had taken place over Kern's ruling does not automatically enable same-sex couples in Oklahoma to marry, being that he stayed his own ruling pending an appeal. Similar stay of a ruling was established on January 6th by the Supreme Court when they halted same-sex marriages in Utah, which had taken place over the course of 17 days after a federal judge there had ruled it was unconstitutional to bar gay and lesbian couples from marrying. In December of 2013, the New Mexico Supreme Court also decided unanimously to overthrow that state's ban on same-sex unions, bringing it to be the 18th state plus the District of Columbia to approve same-sex marriage. That's 36% of the country, statewide, has legalized same-sex marriage. Judge Kern said, there is no precise legal label for what has occurred in Supreme Court jurisprudence, beginning with Romer in 1996 and culminating in Windsor in 2013. But this court knows a rhetorical shift when it sees one. That is included in his ruling, which can be read at insert URL. James Essex, the director of the American Civil Liberties Union's Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and AIDS Project, said in an interview that the decision is, quote, a reflection of how far we've moved on this issue. This is not an issue for the coasts. This is not an issue just for the liberals. This is increasingly America's understanding of what marriage is and fairness in marriage laws looks like. Human Rights Campaign President Chad Griffin also said in a statement that Kern has come to the conclusion that so many have before him that the fundamental equality of lesbian and gay couples is guaranteed by the United States Constitution. With last year's historical decisions at the Supreme Court guiding the way, it is clear that we are on a path to full and equal citizenship for all lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender Americans. Regarding the Utah case, Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor granted a stay pending appeal to a higher court in the state of Utah. And that was on January 6, 2014.